Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard on this overcast early evening after the plant swap. We have some possible rain fixing to move through and I'm going to show y'all the easiest way to propagate your rosemary. And it's definitely not by seed. It's by cutting. Now, I do want to tell you that you do not want to harvest too much from your rosemary plant. Now, if it's a small plant, let it grow for a while. Now, if it's a big established plant, safely take, well, harvest about a third of your plant. So, we're going to look down here. Unfortunately, she didn't know the name of her rosemary. But hey, that's fine with me, you know what? That means I'm still going to have rosemary plants. And they smell wonderful. Now, you want to make sure that you measure, that you have, with as much as I have, a big vessel. Now, you want to use, I use rainwater. You can use tap water that's set out for a while to get the chlorine out of it. And I put just a little bit of a uh, alfalfa juice in here but you don't have to you just want to make sure you have good clean water now you want to strip it down make sure you get the leaves off of it because that will cause your water to go bad fast and put your rosemary to the side because make you something for dinner tonight. And since it's been cut for a while, I'm gonna make a cut and get it in the water. Here's, oh my gracious, her rosemary must be huge. Look at that big, beautiful, healthy stem there. And you want to make sure that there's not gonna be any leaves in the water. Now you can also save the leaves and make you a vinegar as well. Or an infused olive oil. Snip it and get it in there. Yep, there's some rumors going around that you can't propagate herbs. Well, guess what? I'm showing you how to propagate herbs. And no, you don't have to use seeds to do it. In fact, this is the easiest way to propagate rosemary because unless you've got a really good setup, it is not easy to start from seed. And you definitely don't want to waste the leaves at all. I was so happy to see the lady today at the plant swap because she always brings a lot of rosemary. I wished I would have got some of the lavender, but hindsight. Like I said, you want to make sure that none of the leaves are in the water. It's going to make roots all along, all along that stem. Now it should be about a, it may take a week to two weeks to start seeing roots. But you want to give it enough time where you get a lot of really good healthy roots on there. And of course I will, this will be a complete video from beginning to end. That one I'm going to need a smaller jar. Now if you have shorter stems, oh this one's bloomed. 
Now if you have shorter stems, use a pint jar. The longer ones, I'm going to use this big jar here. Oh, I bet you that was a pretty sight, it blooming. I love to see rosemary blooming. And with as big a stems as this one has, it's very happy in, in our area. So it should do very well. Uh, yep, you just continue, keep cleaning the stems. And always remember to snip that so it gets fresh way to uh, siphon up some water. Look at those stems. I would love to see how big her rosemary plant is. Like I said, this is the easiest way to grow you more rosemary. Okay, now I'm going to keep cutting them and keep adding them to the jar. Now one thing you've got to remember, you want to make sure that your water stays clear. If it starts going cloudy, change it out. Gently rinse off your stem if you need to, but you do not want your water to get slimy or anything. And put it in... Uh, put it outside if you're in a warm area and not in direct sun uh, I'm gonna keep mine under the canopy under uh, yeah under the big oak tree it'll get a little bit of morning sun and maybe a little bit of afternoon sun but it'll be dappled but you want to keep it warm warm is a must and this is how I'm going to show you to how to germinate rosemary. Now, once it roots, I'll bring you back and let you know how long it took. All right, I'll see you back here after these babies get good roots. And we're going to plant them up. All right, see you at the water. Okay, welcome back. My rosemary has finally rooted. Some of them have rooted really good. Um... It has been a weird growing year this year. We went from really warm to cold, back to warm, back to cold again. So it's took longer than it has before to root, but that's okay. You know what? I got uh, quite a few to root. Now, of course, there'll always be chances of losses because not everything's going to root. It's just a factor cycle of life. But I did get quite a few to root, so let's take a look. See, here's a really good one that has rooted. And it has little roots coming up through here, too. Some of them have rooted even better. So, what I'm going to do, this is my uh, rosemary starting pot. This is where I germinate them or plant them, let them get a little bigger after they've rooted. These I rooted last year, or actually last fall, and they're doing great. So now, of course, I'm very short on potting soil, so if you want to, you can, and it's good to individually root them. But you can do them like this too if you have a big pot. And what I'm going to do is put my soil knife down, get them down to just where the roots start coming out, put it in there, give it a little bit of room, and you want good loose soil. And we're 
we're going to put this one down in there. And you want to try not to harm those roots at all. And since I have really loose soil in here, they should do fine. That one doesn't have any roots yet. And like I said, once I notice that they're taking off really good, see, there's a good strong root. You want to make sure you don't harm those roots now of course once these roots get established it will start they'll start growing even more roots but this has been a really weird growing year and this one has oops sorry tendonitis these this one has roots all the way down they're small but They'll still make it. Gently put it down in there. Nope, last thing I need is another oak tree. This one has some little baby roots starting. Personally, to me, they've been in the water long enough, and I want them to get to growing. This one has a good, long, long root. Let's see. See it right here? A long old root, and a little old root down here. want to make sure that you get them in there good and snug move this put that there that one has a little bit of root started it's a looking rough get it down in there Oh, this one has some roots at the very bottom and some coming up there. I want to get it in the ground. They've been in the water too long. And Rosemary's not big on having wet feet. I put that one in too close to that one. Let's put it in right here. And once they get down in this nutrient-rich soil, they're going to do great. We're going to go on and start this one down. And you want to make sure that they have good airflow. So out of all of those rosemary sprigs i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten potential more rosemary plants now of course some did not make it Ugh, sorry trying not to beat you up too much with the hose but some didn't make it but that's just that's to be expected because not everything's going to root and i'm going to Soak them in real good. Water these other ones. Now just remember that rosemary do not like, they like moist but not wet. They don't want to be swimming, in other words. And I haven't soaked this one in a while because I was wanting to make sure that it was ready for these little babies to grow. And 
least three happened because Snowpocalypse broke the branches on my big rosemaries up front. So I just trimmed them and started some more with them. And once these roots get the nutrients that's in this soil, these rosemaries are going to thrive. And once I water these in real good, I won't have to water it for at least a week or better. Like I said, they do not like to be too wet. You don't want to let them get too dry either. And with all that being said, even though these babies have roots on them, there's still no guarantee that they're going to take. These two look really rough. But they might end up being the best looking ones of them all. You never know. Definitely a chance for taking. That should do them really well for a while. They'll get some sunlight. Partly cloudy today, so they'll get dappled sun in and out through the day, and they should do just perfectly fine. Simple, easy, anybody can do this, and yes, you can propagate herbs. I have another video to show you coming up how to propagate basil as well you can do so many different herbs by propagation so don't ever believe that you only have to grow herbs by seed because that is a huge myth and it needs to stop being spread the best way to stop it from being spread if you don't know about herbs don't don't say anything unless you know the truth Simple, easy, anybody can do this, and yes, you can. Now, I will say that during this crazy rooting time, I did have to change out the water three different times. And if you can, you want to use uh, rain water or spring water. Don't use the tap water unless you got a filter on it that takes the chlorine out. And I didn't want, and as you can see, the water was really starting to get nasty. And I didn't want to change it a fourth time, so I decided they've got just enough roots on them, they should make it. So, here's the end of the video. And it did, it took about a month for them to root. And that's longer than it usually takes, but our weather has been crazy. But unfortunately, we all know the weather is going to change a whole lot more propagate your herbs when you get a chance to now like i said with the rosemary if it's a small one like these these ones that already was in here i would not take cuttings off them at all you want to use good healthy established plants so it does not stress the mother plant out and with rosemary, you never harvest more than a third at a time because it'll stress it out and she will die on it. But simple, easy, small rules to follow and anybody can do this. And I know you can. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hold on a minute. They're having an air show thanks to Memorial Day. And those were two, if they come back, I'll have to video them. Those were two military biplanes, old, oh, beautiful planes, but 
simple, easy, you can do it. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask. I am more than happy to answer them and help out as much as I can. Herbs are just as important as putting back food. These are your medicine. These are your seasoning. You don't want to get stuck eating plain, unseasoned food or having the medicine that you need to keep yourself healthy. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Everyone, take care. Keep safe and sound. Keep your head on a swivel. Don't let some of these channels panic you or paranoia you. Simple, easy. You got this. Just make sure your pantries are stocked with the bare essentials that our ancestors ate to stay alive. Keep your head on a swivel. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and may you each be blessed. I'll see you soon.